There. That's it. That's him. Hey, folks. I'm back in the building. I'm doing what I do. Doing this video shit. Talking fly, talking slick. If you can understand, you can't even dump. There's the door. Now, today I'm going to talk about something that, like, we can't pay our own bills, but we're promising the Syrian Rebels 60 fucking million dollars. I'm going to go in. Like, uh, we're going through fiscal cliffs. People are losing their jobs left and right. Go to any, like, uh, air traffic control tower. There might be a layoff or two. They have shut air traffic controller towers down. They're shutting federal services down. I mean, I know these people will come back and get their money. That's not the point. They lost their job right now. But my point is, how can you promise Syrian fucking rebels sixty million dollars when these people here like it's like what's 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 this? What are they thinking? It's like bad timing. It's like this this administration has some of the worst fucking timing I've ever seen in my life. Now, if the fiscal cliff was signed and everything was good to go, and you said, well, we're giving the Syrian, Syrian rebels 60 million, I'm sure people may, they may be mad about it, but they're like, hey, they're getting us out of office, it's cool. But what you don't do, you don't wait until you start cutting jobs, you stop tours at the White House, you stop laying off federal employees, and all of a sudden, hey, we're gonna give the Syrian rebels 60 million. No, oh, okay. Meanwhile, who's paying for the 60 million? It can't be them because they don't got a job. You know, it's just like with all this budget mess, who's 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 running this fucking show over here? Who's running the PR campaign? You know, you got you got three hundred people about to lose their job tomorrow, and all of a sudden you got sixty million for the Syrian rebels. Hey, until until that people lose their job, put that sixty million back with the people. Let them still work. The Syrian rebels can wait a minute. You know, these people are losing jobs. You know, because of required budget cuts. You know, the sequester, this, that, and the fifth. But all of a sudden, we just happen to have an extra six million to give to the Syrian rebels. Makes sense. I don't know, man. These for these guys to be lawyers and the top thinkers in our country. <laughs> this is why America's going to keep going down the shitter for real. Because this, this shit is so funny, is you can't even make this shit up. It's true. Because all you gotta do is look what up what I'm saying. Carry promised sixty million. And all of a sudden, we're losing jobs. No, the American taxpayer is going to pay for that $60 million, and now we're going to pay more because we don't have people working. You know, couldn't have money be better spent to put these folks back to work first? No, I know what's going to happen. I know that we're not going to give them the $60 million until after all the budget mess, but it's just what it, how it looks and how it sounds. You know, wait till, wait till that announcement until after the budget deal is done, you know. I guess you say we're going to help the Sierra Rebels out the 7th and 5th, but when you put the $60 million tag on it, wait till the fucking people go back to work. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. Come on. Peace. I'm out. There. That's it. That's him.